guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. Then Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no. Just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. How the fuck are we gonna get... Is there a bridge? I didn't even see. Oh, fucking of course. And that's a rolled ankle. I just beat him for you. What happened to my lamp, dude? God, that's so annoying. Oh, wow. There's a gun. And there's plenty of ammo. Darkness wears face. Let's, uh... I had to do something about the chain for the door to open. What the? There we go. I hear you, bitch. I don't have any flares. Thought I did, but I don't. You fucking asshole. How am I supposed to dodge that? Jesus. Oh my god! Fuck. Piece of shit, bitch. Fuck. That did not feel good. Another pump shotgun. Oh wow, you're telling me I could have just stepped into the goddamn light and been just fine? Whatever. And here's a new song from a band that, that... They always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. Huh. Fucking I um Well let me see if I remember after this fucking bullshit ass fight
Jesus. Ah, you cocksuckers. There's so many. Ah, oh, fuck. Am I out of flares? Yep. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. No, fucking. Fuck. Oh, God. You fucker. I am forgetting how to fucking play while I'm playing. Ugh. Asshole, it's nighttime. Take off the sunglasses. <sighs> Jesus fuck. As I was saying, uh, I went on Spotify and I, um, added the old gods of the old, yeah, the old gods of. I forgot what the fuck their name was, but I added them to my fucking playlist. They're good songs. But I had to find a way across. Okay. Uh. This way. I don't have a hard hat. Oh, damn. Okay, if I can back them up into that shit, they'll die. Uh, I just straight up can't go this way? Okay. Is this what an actual power plant looks like? Like, just high-voltage fucking cables everywhere. But if you get near, you'll get fucked up. Jesus. Two for the price of one. Two, kill two taken with a single shotgun. Wow. You cock. Uh oh. I did not know I had a flashbang. Well, now I have nothing, so don't try it again. I might have messed a fuck ton. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Huh. Isn't it crazy to think that the 70s were fucking over 50 years... Well, they were 50 years ago. It was hard enough for me to imagine that they were 40 years ago. I used to just think forever that they were 30 years ago. That was... Uh, my first adjustment as a kid doing math in my head was like the 70s were 30 years ago. Oh, eat dicks.
Are you serious? Oh my god, oh my god. Damn it, I saw the coffee thermos. All right, relax. Okay, there's nothing else around. Let's get up and over. Is that a stack of cans? Nope. No stack. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story. But the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. The story was incomplete. The last unfinished page of the manuscript sat in the typewriter? Huh. That was the last page. Damn, that... Uh... Zane coming came and got you the last fucking second, huh? Oh. Well, the place went dark. Goddamn birds. Oh, you bitch. This didn't even scare me, that just fucking annoyed me. I'll take that. Damn it. Flare gun ammo. Is that a bridge? What's going on here? Yes. Three flares for the flare gun. Oh, this game's, uh. This game is a. Like, fucking seriously? What the hell's happening? up the controls but at least I'm in a room with light so fuck it stupid birds aren't getting in here are we men dreaming of being butterflies or butterflies that dream of being men such philosophical concerns are by necessity abstract I mean I'm pretty sure I'm not a butterfly but yet, some of us can find concrete proof of the nature of our existence in night springs Tonight's episode, An Absence of Creativity. Hello, Martha. What did you want to show me? Oh, Lydia. Thank God you're here. Please, it's in the basement. It's so weird that... <laughs> 
to think that they had a bunch of people audition to do these little skits. And it's obviously... The voices aren't theirs. It's voiced over. Well, I'm trying to work. Did you put this thing here? In a way. To be more precise, I put everything here but that. Really? But what is it? Oh, I guess the temptation is to call it a hole, but it's really an absence of a profound lack of reality. In Martha's basement? Yes, I was doing so well, too. I came up with two old ladies and put something really weird in the basement. It was a great start. I'm completely blocked now. I can't imagine what I was up to. Well, surely it's just an ordinary basement. Is it? Why did you call your friend here, then? Well, I... I don't know. Oh, well. Couldn't you just ignore it? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. It would probably turn into a plot hole. Not like a maybe I should just stop here or is that too moronic it's an author uh, is that too moronic indeed who can tell talking to his creation it's a fine line between the stupid and the sublime huh interesting can I get in this no I can't Holy shit. We managed to lose the flock. You're almost at the power plant. Keep going. I'll give you support. Okay, just making sure there wasn't anything there. Try and stay in the light. Keep going now. All right, way too fast. Ouch. Cool, dude. What the fuck? At least it starts me like right back where I fucking was. I'm not like the last safe haven or anything. Back it up, cowboy. Oh, I, oh, I didn't have any fucking flares, man. This is... Oh, it's so annoying when you have so many flares and then absolutely no flares. Here's what I'll fucking do. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Suck your own dick.
quickly before any more show up. I don't know what's worse, the crows or those fucking flying objects. Probably the flying objects, honestly. But they're kind of the same thing, a little bit, because you can't shoot them. Oh my god, bro. Hey, I'll just leave me alone. Oh shit. Yeah. This is uh this is her place, trust no one in the dark. Safe haven. Well, don't get to read that. Miss Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the lady of the light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Why the hell didn't you say something when I showed up at the fucking coffee place? It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. You don't mind if I take this stuff, do you? Because... I have a Will feeling me I'm gonna Alice? need it. Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. We won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? So, I have a secret route, a lit route, an old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's me. All the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. Kill switch is outside. Okay. Anything else? I have been preparing for these times. Darkness waits in my dreams. Haven't you? You can see the signs. Very few people can. Um. Oh shit. I miss you, Tom. Oh, that's so fucked up. <sighs> Please, take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We, we do Tom's work, don't we? Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. Okay, well, let's go then. Uh, guessing that's gonna be to open it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Switch that would yeah. cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Plug gate controls to be operated by. Yep, got it. Uh, it's a puzzle, right? I need to have all three of them extended. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.
Rule number two, keep the lights on. Well, well, well. Carney, knock over five can pyramids. I knew I wasn't crazy. Ah. Uh. I wonder, uh, real quick, I'm so sorry, but I just, yeah, okay. It just bothers me that I can't hear him very well. Oh my god. But I can't hear him very well. Oh my god. Uh, I can't hear him very well when other shit's going on. Um, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead, dude. Fuck. Yeah, I forgot about that. Another one? Oh, it's still him. Okay. Now what, lady? This way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. Well, you just take a dump, or...? <laughs> this way. We need to go. Got him. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> And then Tom started writing and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. A witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And huh. afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing Like behind. fucking Spider-Man No Way Home. In case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. I knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end. If this isn't stopped, she'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. Wow, that's going to take a while to fucking... Light, but I sit in this chair? Stays with you. You just stay.
This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. You think it's gonna work in a fucking pipe? Barry, wow, it works in a pipe. In one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. Nah. You must reach the well lit room. <laughs> this is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Your best friend is your agent? Uh, I don't remember if well, he said he knew effort. Barry or not. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. So bitch. I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Whoa. The well-lit room. Oh, wow. Thought of everything, did you? Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild. As a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor, the chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Oh, no. But did they live? Rocking birds. Come on, get there. Jesus. Walking bastards, man. Oh shit. Yep, go ahead, spit them at me. Where am I going? Oh my Christ. Fucking hate those little bastards. Not in there. But as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. That's a good thing, right? They drop these, maybe. Granny sure got around out here. Barry! Right up there. Uh-oh. 
You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor? Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. There we go. Whew. Come on. Thank you, Weaver. I hope they're following me. Because I... Doesn't do anything for you unless you keep going. I'm talking to Barry, not you. you can't yeah, you can. It's called sex. What the hell is that thing? It's everywhere. Oh, Blowjobs. You know, doinking. Nothing moves like that. It's impossible. Yeah, let's just get up to the safe haven. Ah, I don't want to fuck ow, with these guys. Do That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. No, they're all over the place. No, they're gone. Was that it? Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. Yeah, I'm standing in the safe haven. We're good. Hey, Al, I got a bad feeling. You got a bad feeling? Why would we hold them when they're coming, dude? Oh no! Oh no! God damn it, Arthur. Saved your life, Sheriff. It's almost here, Wake. Just hold on. Plus, she's firing a weapon. It's here. Ow, let's go. Oh, no, you don't. Are you shitting me? What are you shooting? Ow. Yeah, I guess we should stand We're under the light. There. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Is that a... Oh, yep. Geez, I hate this. It is currently 85 degrees in my room. Uh, itching to end this episode as soon as okay, we can. There's a button over there that opens the door. Okay. I think 
something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Oh my god. Fuck you. What about me? Are you gonna hold it, both of you? Classic. Be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, please be careful. I'll do what I want. I don't even know where to go. There it is. You gotta be kidding me. And here are the fucking obstacles trying to kill me. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Ouch. Cool, I'm stuck. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, come on. blinking light up there. This is... way more intense than I wanted it to be. Come on, go, go, go. Thank God you made all sorts of backups. I haven't seen any manuscript pages. I don't know why it came out like that. Menu. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could be the words. Searchlight. my immersion. like an old lady because uh, I only can only sprint for three seconds at a time. Well, I didn't expect the one behind me to be fucked up. Am I supposed to jump it? This 
fucking Ellen's tire. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Jesus. You made it. Well done. Glad I was wrong. But it was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well-lit room. The hour is fail-safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. Jesus. <sighs> There's an old army base at Great Coke Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. She's like, now, actually, I built it. With my own two hands. All right, I guess I'm opening it. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore because six and thirty-three and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. Poor old woman. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence, in a story I had written. Now, if that isn't the damnedest shit. Out. I can finish this. Oh man, yeah, I think there's only six episodes in this in this game, but uh, wow, this, I mean, it's so much, I don't, I don't know that it's exactly like super fun to play, obviously like I, I could probably use a break and I'll, I've been going for a couple hours now, but the story is a good story, um, probably get into a zone where I start looking up shit about it afterwards, getting super hyped for Alan Wake 2. Part of me all, almost wishes I saved it for a couple months for the refresher. But, uh, you know, also, why not? Like, five months isn't 13 years. Uh, I, I'll probably still remember most of this. And so will you, if you're watching it. Anyways, um... Thank you for watching, if you did. And um, I'll see you in the next one.
like moving in slow motion and we're already too late if we